This Mass is offered for the following intentions, Thanksgiving and good health of Sean and Sapna Oliveira and family, birthday blessings, good health and welfare of Brian Zuzat, Pinoche and Sean Oliveira, Isaac Kambati, Jeffrey Gonzalez, thanksgiving for blessings received by the gracious family, for the souls of Cecilia Cardoz being the month's mine, Mervyn Luke D'Souza, Nazareth Vernon Quinney, Raphael Raj Rafu D'Souza, Joseph and Cecilia Sekri, Tilifrid and Mary D'Souza, Marion Oliveira, Rose Daniels, and Claude D'Souza. Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I will be with you, the Lord proclaim. Come, brothers, come, sisters, gather round the Lord. Come, brothers, come, sisters, hear his holy word. And he will bring us happiness, and he will bring us peace. His goodness is eternal and his wonders never cease. Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I will be with you, the Lord proclaim. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we gather around the Eucharistic table, the Lord reminds us that where two or three are gathered in His name, He is there in the midst of us. We are grateful to God for these blessings and we seek pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and the words of all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers, in all our distress and affliction, we have been comforted about you through your faith. For now we live. If you are standing fast in the Lord, for what thanksgiving can we return to God for you? For all the joy that we feel for your sake before our God, as we pray most earnestly night and day that we may see you face to face and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now, may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all as we do for you so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints the word of the Lord Thanks be to God. The words of our response are 
Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exalt. Kindly listen to the tune. Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exalt. Together. Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exalt. You turn man back to dust and say, Return, O children of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, or like a watch in the night. Our response? Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exalt. Then teach us to number our days, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Turn back, O Lord, how long? Show pity to your servants. Fill us with your merciful heart, O Lord. And we shall exalt. Hallelujah. 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 Stay awake, be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known, in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would have let his house, he would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the faithful and wise servant? whom his master has sent over his household to give them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set them over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not accept, expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The words of our Lord very often in the Gospel speak about alertness to the end times, being alert and awake. And the same we find in the Gospel today, as the disciples are listening to the Lord, He reminds them about being prepared. The very basic understanding of the text is this, that our God is in control of history, of humanity. And it is we as disciples who worship this God, who looks after our goods. We must surrender to this God and always be ready to serve Him. The disciples who serve Him are blessed and we are grateful to God for this. Amen. At this time of giving, gladly now we bring gifts that have been given by our God and King. 
You're so afraid of pain. Work of human hands. This is the bread of joy. We will share in love. Let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. The Lord gain for yourself a people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all. Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ, for by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory as a joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once with the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts, bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on that oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, 
Give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your son and confirm us in the bond of communion together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all other bishops, with the priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation, and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant you peace and unity, in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Our act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Take this and eat it, for this is my body. Take this and drink it, for this is my blood. Taste and see that the Lord is all goodness. Happy those who take refuge in him. Take this and eat it, 
for this it's my body take this and drink it for this is my blood let us pray complete within us o lord we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. we thank you for having called us to serve you in this world may all our efforts bring us salvation as we reach out in love and strengthen the lives of those who are vulnerable weak and need your blessings the most we make this prayer to christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit. and the almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen we go in peace to love and serve the lord thanks be to god put on the armor of jesus christ build up your strength in the lord god yourself with his truth carry faith as a shield the good news is sword in your hands let your loins be good and your lamps shall light waiting for the day when the master comes may he find you watching when he returns he'll come like a thief in the night put on the armor of jesus christ Build up your strength in the Lord. Guard yourself with the truth. Carry faith as a shield. The good news is sword in your hand.